Welcome everyone to the first unit in the first week. Uh, I want to give a brief synopsis of what we shall be discussing throughout the whole week. To begin with, we will, we will start with an icebreaker activity. The icebreaker activity aims to focus on the use of language in the sense that you shall use adjectives to provide personal traits about yourself that differentiate you from others. For instance, some of you might say that we are kind. Kind would be a adjective that describes you. Uh, you may choose different uh, adjectives. You may also use adjectives that are a part of your IB portfolio. Moreover, during this lesson, we will be focusing on our communication and social collaboration skills. Whereas in the second lesson, we will establish essential rules and regulations that we must abide to ensure that the uh, classroom uh, enables you to acquire knowledge sufficiently and effectively. In other words, we are establishing a healthy environment for yourself and your peers to learn from. Moreover, the objectives will include the following, discuss the rules and regulations that should be followed, and you shall explain the consequences of breaking the essential agreement. And when we reach this lesson, I don't want you to think about uh, points such as, if I break the rule, then I shouldn't go uh, to break. I want things that are more realistic at this age. I expect grade eight students are a little bit more self-managed than uh, earlier uh, years. Therefore, when you create the rules, make sure that the, that the consequences of breaking them are realistic and reliable for someone within your age group. The ATL skills for this lesson would be communication, thinking, creative thinking, and social collaboration. Now, you're going to ask me how is this related to creative thinking. I want you to think creatively and persuade me with your point in terms of why this punishment or this consequence may be reflective and essential uh, for us to learn from. And when you create the posters, which you will be creating uh, colorful posters during this lesson, I want you to make sure that it is attractive for those that pass by it and read it. Okay, and in regards to the third lesson, this is where things become more, let's say, clear. What are we taking this year and what is this unit about? As you all know, and we've mentioned prior, that each and every unit consists of uh, seven weeks. Seven weeks or eight weeks depends on the semester. But for now, the first semester, you will, be, uh, you will finish unit one and unit two. Unit one is equivalent to seven weeks. And the entire seven weeks, it will focus on specific key concepts and read a key concept and related concepts. And in addition to the global context to relate it to our real life situation. So the first unit, we will explore what the key concept is and the related concepts and how we can relate it to where we are today. Not only are we going to identify them and discuss them and explain them in depth, you shall create an SOI reflecting the concepts and context. Um, by now, you year three, you're aware that a concept and a context and uh, uh, are integrated with one another to formulate the SOI statement. Um, therefore, I want to see your capabilities in demonstrating your awareness of an SOI statement and allowing you to create your own SOI that is reflective to the unit. This will focus on communication, thinking, skills, and social collaboration. You'll be working with your, um, with you'll be placed into groups in order to write them down. Moving on, uh, our next lesson will start with the context. Officially, we will differentiate between non-fictional and fictional narrative. For the following week, we will discuss non-fictional narrative as it is your primary focus for the unit. What are they? What is the difference between them? Uh, how can I differentiate when I read a text that this is fiction or this is nonfiction? You must identify the main idea in the first launch text, which is called Red Roses, and it is evident on page three. Finally, we will create a timeline that reflects the events of the short story that, uh, that we're going to read. Uh, and we will explore... Um, 
new diction and vocabulary words that are reflective to the unit itself. That means when I expect when I, when you start writing the non-fictional narrative, you will be assessed into using at least eight to ten words from the vocabulary list that are evident within the unit. Okay, when I say unit, this reflects on diverse texts all under the same unit, which is which will be done with by the end of the year. All in all, this is my main focus for the first week. As a quick recap, we will start with an icebreaker. Then we will discuss essential rules and regulations to ensure a healthy learning environment. Our third lesson will start with the key concepts and related concepts and global context. You will formulate your SOI during this class. The fourth class, we will start officially with the context and where we will read red roses which will be divided into two classes discuss the comprehension questions and create a timeline as a launch activity for the first week so as you can see the first week is not bulky we're going to start off with something very simple in general and you and i hope everyone enjoys the first week